polarization in this demo. So hopefully you watched the first demo that talked about polarization and showed you graphically how a wave polarized in this direction won't go through a filter that's perpendicular to it. Um, so we're gonna do a couple more examples now. So here I have an overhead projector. The light is shining from the bottom up through onto the board, okay? Now the light coming out of my uh, projector is unpolarized, which means it has light is polarized equally in all different directions, okay, in the, in the, in the plane of the board there. So we've got some electromagnetic waves oscillating in this direction, this direction, and that direction, every direction an equal amount, okay? So when we put it through a polar, polarizing filter, these filters have the polarization direction that's per perpendicular to the, or the, parallel to the long axis of my filter. It picks off just the amount of light that's polarized in the vertical direction and doesn't permit the light polarized in the, the y direction to go through. So it picks off exactly half the light. So you can see the amount of light coming through and hitting the screen here is half the amount of light that doesn't go through the fil filter. Now, what if I put in another polarizing filter? This time the polarization direction there is perpendicular. So one polarizer is polarized this way, one is this way, and you see that no light goes through the both polarizers. So where there's only one filter, we get half the light that's falling on everywhere else on the screen, but in the middle, we get none. Now, if I change the direction of polarization, I can actually get zero in the middle all the way back up to half the incident light when the two polarizers are polarized in the exact same direction. Because in that case, whatever goes through the first filter will continue on and go straight through the second filter with no loss of light. So for example, if you're doing an experiment in the lab, like you're trying to see how different fertilizers or different watering conditions affects the growth of plants, if you're studying how the amount of light affects the growth of plants, you can make a a uh, controlled experiment where just oscillating the filters there can give you different amounts of the amount of light that a plant would get. All right, so let's take a look at this situation. If we have them perpendicular to each other, we get zero light through. That's because the first filter only lets in light polarized in that direction, but this one lets in no light at all. Now what happens if I take a third polarizing filter and I slip it in between the two filters. If I do that so that the bottom diagonal here, you can see there's more light than before coming into the, to the filter. If you want to see it better, I'm going to turn out the lights for just a brief second, some of the lights for a brief second, so that you can get a little better view of that. So on the bottom diagonal of the, of the filters there, we're getting some light in. It's not a whole lot, but it's definitely more than up here at the top. So why is that? Why did putting a filter 45 degrees change the answer? Well, because when the, when the light is coming through, it always picks off whatever component is in that direction of the polarizer. So let's take a look at how things work. We said our, our formula in class was if an amount of light is incident on a polarizer, I not, then um, um, if we go through the first filter, we get I1 is I naught over 2, the original intensity over 2. So let's take our light, put it through that vertically polarized filter. We get I naught out here. But coming out here, we get I1, which is I0 over 2. But after that, the second polarizer is polarized at 45 degrees relative to the vertical. So that one, now let's do it this way. Let's draw it as a dashed line with the original direction of polarization. Now we're going to go at 45 degrees. relative to the first polarizer. And so the, the intensity coming out here is what's incident on it, I naught over two, times cosine squared of 45 degrees. Well, cosine, cosine of 45 degrees is one over square root of two. And when we 
we square it then, we'll get I naught over four, okay? So what comes out of the second polarizer is one fourth the original, 25% the original. Now if we put that light through one more polarizer, this time the original axis was this way. Now we're gonna put it perpendicular to the first polarizer. So, but that means the angle between the successive filters is still 45 degrees. Now the original, now the polarization direction is perpendicular to what we had originally, but we've done it in two steps. So if you apply the formula, the intensity coming out of our third polarizer is what came into the set, what came into it, which is I naught over four, times again that cosine squared of 45 degrees, which again we said is one over square root of two squared times I naught over four. That means I naught over eight or 0.125 I naught. So 12.5% of the original intensity, so not zero, okay? Now it's important, you know, to apply the formulas and get the right answer, but it's also important to step back and think, well, why is this happening, okay? So let's look at the diagram. What, what's um, happening in the first situation, <coughs> when we go from here to here, let's, let's rotate our axis by 45 degrees. So here's the new polarization, here's the old polarization, dotted lines there. That's the old polarizer direction. We've got 45 degrees between this. Remember, I like to rotate the situation because we're so used to analyzing our vectors on the x, y, and z axis. So remember, if the polarization coming out is in that direction, then we have one component of polarization, which is up and down, and one component of the polarization which is in this direction, that axis, this is the new polarizer direction. Right? So, this size of this vector is the, the amount of light before times cosine of 45 degrees, well, the, the electric field strength that comes through is the electric field strength from the, what came in times cosine 45. The intensity then, I depends on E squared, what comes through squared. So it's E squared. So it's E times um, uh, I naught cosine, sorry, I naught cosine squared 45 degrees, okay? So it's picking off just this amount of light is polarized in that direction, okay? So there's some light coming through. But then again, we do the same thing. Again, here, we've already got our diagram in the right direction to analyze the components. So once again, what's coming in is polarized in this direction. What we need to figure out is how much is polarized in that direction. We do our x, y, and z axis, and the size of that is, is related to the cosine of 45 degrees. E in that case that goes through is E cosine 45. But then I, which is proportional, the intensity is proportional to E squared, means I not cos squared 45 again. So this time it's not zero because it's always picking off the one component that's in the right direction. So this one has a component up and a component left and right, and so it's picking off just this component and letting that through. Okay. All right, that's it for this video.